All right, so down here we got the Scar 20S with the Bad Larry on there, 338 can. Got the little mag in today. I think both sizes. This one is, I believe, a five, and the other one is a ten. I think. I think they both like fifty dollars. We're gonna be changing this, doing the update on this uh, scope on the top. This is a what is it? A Sig. I think it's a Sig scope. 3 to 12 by 44. Um, I think I've seen a right right and got a 5 to 25 by 50. So I'm gonna go with that on there and I'll throw this on something else. But I'm gonna check out uh I wanna try the bad Larry out on this. It's a little bigger can than the R2, so I don't know if it's gonna be quieter, but I just wanna see. We tried this with Subsonic Ammo. Well, that brand that I had, it didn't work. And to adjust the gas is in right here. Then we got the AUG up here. And we got the AUG back here with the Fat Cat on it. I really like this Fat Cat. The compact size of it and it's pretty quiet. And this one got that built-in scope on here. You can add a light to here or whatever. I've seen some of these with like a pistol red dot on the top. I think I got one to try. I'm going to just sit it on there and see. But I did see some of these with the pistol red dot on here. And you can uh, adjust the gas on this one right here. And then you can also get the 20-inch barrels for this. Which the barrel swap on this thing is super easy. But what I want to do is I want to get the 300 blackout. I seen one of these coming with both. It came with the 556 and the 300 blackout. I believe both of them was 20 inch barrels. I mean, this is already a compact setup with this barrel on there. And then with the fat cat, it ain't stupid long. But this reticle in here is uh, kind of big. And at like 50 or 100 yards, that circle, it kind of covers your whole target. So I really don't like that, but it's cool. Some of these models come without this. Only thing, this is quick disconnect up here. Only thing I wish I could change or I wish was quick disconnect is this part right here. I wish this was quick disconnect because I want to use my sling, but you could take that out, but I'm going to just see if it's some type of, like I can use my sling, but it won't be quick disconnect back here. So I probably will do that. Have it just connect up there and then back here. Then they got these mags. Magpul make a special mag for this because this one don't use the regular AR-15 mags but then they also got a bigger mag like that too I just haven't ordered it yet but they do got it but yeah that's the only updates really with this I'm going to try this red I just want to sit it up there probably won't do it or it probably could you know what could probably could have it offset it could, I don't know, I'll probably leave it the way it is. Cause I mean, that's already pretty high. 500 yard range, start going out a little farther. So I wanna, I think that's gonna be the, my long distance gun. These also come in 6.5 Creedmoor. This one is in 308. You could probably buy different barrels, but the gun costs so much by itself. I can only imagine the barrel may be half the cost. I don't know. So yeah, I figure something like, of course you'll need the other part 
to be attached. I'm trying to see where would it sit. But like a red dot. I, I'm, I don't like the way it looked now. Thinking about it. Kind of remind me of how the, um, that top mount on the PS90 is. So maybe in the front, but I don't know how that, uh, I have to have it, you know, not in the back. I didn't like it in the back. Maybe the front. But even if you got the mount to put it on the side, it will be something like this. So maybe the side would be better. Because that might be too far. And get a little offset mount and it'll just come off like that. So that might be something I can try. Zero this for a farther distance than have this up close. You can get you a good light right here. Or here. I don't know why they got this right here anyway. But maybe there for a light because it's easier to get control where your hand is. Yeah, I don't know why they got all this other stuff on here. But I guess it was better to have it and not need it than somebody want to utilize that rail space and then don't have it. But yeah, that's what we probably do is put an offset. Because I thought about doing one on here also. I don't know. I do like mine in the front. But it depends on the gun, how the gun set up. And then I seen some with the mounts where it could be up here too. So I don't know. Once we get the new scope for that, we'll figure that out. But yeah, we're going to take this out real soon. I want to try this with the Bad Larry, see how quiet it is. And this with the Fat Cat. We've done it with other guns, and I just like it, period. And I like the profile of it. So, but I'm more interested in the Bad Larry. Side by side. The Bad Larry is a little longer and is a little wider. And I think the Bad Larry got a lot of baffles in it also. I see your motivation. I see your movement is in the back. And I fucking love that shit. <laughs>